write a little bit every day, but set the bar low. That's the main takeaway from today's lesson, so I'm just going to open up right with that. Hey, I'm Eric Haugen. There's all my social links. This is part of my songwriting series where, you know, a good amount of us are music first people. I know I'm a music first person, so what I'm trying to do here is help you guys um, get stuff done. Let's get stuff done. We have all these little ideas floating around. Let's see what we can do to complete them. So, point number one. Write every day, but set the bar low. Here's what I mean by that. Probably don't even need to play guitar today. I'm gonna to walk you through my process uh, that got me to complete a record. There it is, Eric Haugen Bundle Up, streaming and downloadable wherever you stream and download music. This isn't about that though. Some great books I recommend. Jeff Tweedy's Write One Song, really great. Pat Pattison's Writing Better Lyrics. These are both great books. I highly recommend either of them. Both of them will say about the same thing. They will say <laughs> to write every day a little bit. My thing is to set the bar low. Here's what I mean. Every morning when I wake up, I drink my coffee. Once the coffee is kicked in, I will spend, oh, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes. Just maybe 10 minutes. I have a Google Doc on my computer that I open up and I'll just write stuff. It could be a Jeff Tweedy he calls them word ladder exercises where you combine one set of nouns with another set of nouns and try and make that work. It could be Pat Pattison object writing, which is basically where you just pick something, be it an event, a place, a something, and you just try and describe the senses as much as you can. Honestly, or sometimes it's just philosophical musings where I'm thinking about something. Man, it could be about a movie I watch. It doesn't matter. Just as long as it's like waking up the, the writer part of our brain, because what that does is once you've woken up that part of your brain, it stays awake all day. And then if someone says something interesting or I observe something interesting, you can bet my phone comes out. I'm like, <laughs> I might turn that into something later on. Now, the other thing that I do as I'm doing this kind of just free writing is if I do hit on something interesting, you can bet I'm gonna put it in bold so that I know that if I'm, if I'm hard up later on, I can scroll back through and be like, oh yeah, that was the cool line right there. So that's the first thing. That's just free. That's not even trying to finish songs. That's just waking up the writer. So that's, you know, that's not too bad. That's, that's not too hard to do. And the thing is, you're not trying to write the best song ever at that moment. You're just trying to wake it up. Then, at some part later in the day is when you actually are going to try and finish a song of yours. You know, and you're not going to finish it that day. You know, some people would say, write a song a day. I don't actually do that. That doesn't work for me. Please know that this is just what works for me. You know, teaching uh, music, you know, all I can say is what works for me. I'm not saying this is what works for everybody. Okay, so part two of how I get stuff done is at the end of the day, once I've done all my emails, all my video editing, all my instruction, I will close the door to my office, I will put on my white noise machine, I will get out my notebooks, and I will chip away at a song. And again, not for very long, just long enough that like, I get maybe a line or two, you know, I'll spew verses and verses, good. This mic is very sensitive to if I move, it'll, it'll cut up. So I have this little book here that's got, yeah, just verses and verses and verses and choruses and choruses and choruses and things like that. And you can bet, same thing, when I hit upon something that's good, I'll put an arrow next to it that's like, that's solid, that's going in the finished song. Now the other thing about that is I do think it really helps if you sing the song as you're writing it because it is very true that written down lyrics look freaking stupid <laughs> they often do however the magic of prosody you know the combination of melody and harmony and words can make something that on the page you your first gut instinct would be like that's stupid that's cliche that's dumb if you did it right and those notes are hitting right with those chords you could be like "Ooh, wait actually this is cool which then brings me to pre-answer the common question or comment that we're gonna get. 
you know, I try to write, but everything I write is shite. Uh, it sounds cliche and just sounds done. Yeah, sure, you know, that stuff is gonna be ready on deck. <laughs> it's just the way it works, you know? House, mouse, et cetera, et cetera. My advice with that is just puke it out, right, right through it. You know, you can't, don't fight with yourself, because honestly for me, because I'm such a music first person, I think about writing lyric the same way I do about writing a guitar solo. Like, you know, you're just kind of messing around with things. Until you find one little thing, you're like, I like that. And so the, the hard part of being a creative person is knowing when you got something good. And so it, I think it helps a lot if you just know that, yeah, some of the cliches are going to come out first. Those are going to come flying out. And you're going to be like, yeah, 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 okay, I'm not going to get mad at myself for, for thinking a cliche thought. You know, what, what is the, the quote? There is no original thing. There's only a new way to say it. I forget what the, the, the poetic thing is, but there's something like that. That Yeah, well, this, you know, it's all been done before. Of course it has, but you haven't done it. I haven't done it. There's, there's got to be something unique about our experience and our taste that's going to make it come out different. Um, did I cover everything? Oh, you know, okay. Let's talk about, I have written some notes down here. One of the hardest parts, I think, if you're a music first person like me, is what I call the light bulb moment. Where you're like, man, I got this music written, I kind of have a melody in my head. What, what does this song want to be about? And you know, that's again, you gotta, that's where I spend the, that little bit of time at the end of the day, like, well, let me try this for like a week. I'll kind of meditate on a subject and either it's gonna be the right thing or it's not gonna be. And sometimes you do have to completely divorce yourself from what you thought the song was gonna be about and start again. So, I mean, for me, it takes me a long time to finish a song. It does. I, I'm, I'm very, uh, yeah, I don't get big washes of creative energy. I get little beep beep, 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 little fireflies. And so that's how I have to work. I don't know you. There's a lot of you in the world. Everybody's different. Uh, but that's what works for me. 10 minutes in the morning, another 20 maybe at night. But the thing is, I am tenacious about it. I keep doing it and keep doing it, like I said, until I have a lot of stuff. And then that kind of comes to the last point that like, I would never finish something unless I book studio time. Uh, or band rehearsal or something. So there is a little bit of like, I recommend installing some sort of reason to finish a song. Cause yeah, you can just keep messing with them for years. Been there, done that for sure. Um, and then though, once studio time is booked, I just, you know, pay my, my buddy Tom, we go over to the studio and we, and we set up mics and we do it. That's when I go back into that kind of drafts notebook. And then, you know, I'll do the David Bowie thing where I'll just cut it all up and then find verses and choruses and things like that. You know, and be like, oh yeah, this is, here's the lyrics to my title track of my last record, Bundle Up. There it is. That's exactly what I had in the studio with me. I went back into Google Docs and I print, yeah, chopped it all up until I had the lyrics there. That's how I do it. Um, I hope that helps. It really, you know, because I think for me, if you have the creative spark, because, you know, there's a lot of people watching YouTube guitar lessons you know, there's some people who are like, I don't care about writing songs. That's cool. Don't, <laughs> if you don't have <laughs> this curse uh, of, of wanting to, to make something, don't, don't bother, don't, don't force it. But I think a lot of us do. I think a lot of us have some like, I got this little chord progression. I hear a melody in my head. I'm not stupid. I know how to write a poem. This is how I do it to get it done. I hope that helps. Thanks so much to everybody who supports me in all the ways that you do. Even if it's just clicking like and subscribe, that keeps me in business with algorithm relevancy. As Bill and Ted would say, be excellent to each other. That includes yourself. Happy Friday. Eat pizza and ice cream.